Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are going to be starting a little bit of a mini event on the channel where I'm going to be listening to a bunch of anime openings and or outros depending on how things look. And I decided it would be fun to start with the Spice and Wolf remake for 2024. I never really watched the original. I've seen parts of it, but I never got into the story. So I was really excited to hear they were doing it again. And of course, I've been following that since it came out, but I've been skipping every intro and outro on purpose so I can do do this sort of thing and hear what the songs actually are. I'm mostly going to be here listening to the instrumentals. I'm aware that the lyrics are more often than not going to be in Japanese and I don't know the language, but to me that's never really mattered. I listen to the intent of the song, not so much the lyrics within them because they're usually just general metaphors of loosely what the story is getting at. So I can put that together without the lyrics being right up in my face. So without further ado, this this is Destination of the Journey by Hannah Hope, and I'm really excited to see what this is like. Let's go! Ooh. Ooh. I don't even know what instrument that was. Was that a synth? I'm loving the vibes of this so far. Ooh, I love that, like, synth horn sound. Ooh! Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I love the way this sounds. This is, like, a modernized... It still has some, like traditional elements in it it's got that fanfare what a cool way to mix the song into like the show's time the the time period but it's such a modern song otherwise I love that. <laughs> Slow it down. I... <laughs> those single plucks on the guitar. I'm falling in love with those. Still loving those, like, synthy trumpet samples in there. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Shifting that bass. Love that. You get that dip in there. It really digs in. Ooh. Was that a xylophone? <laughs> There's gotta be something similar. The vibes are immaculate. Always got to have that anime key change. <laughs> Love those delayed moments in the instrumentals too. I'm always a sucker for those. Ooh. End on a sub bass. Drop it down a little bit. Well, that was just beautiful, wasn't it? <laughs> So like I said, I've already been watching the series so far, and I've been enjoying the absolute hell out of it, and this song is 
perfect for an intro for that. It has so much vibe. It's just immaculate vibes. That whole instrumental, how it feels so modern, yet still holds on to that fanfare that feels very much like the time period that the show takes place in. And it has those elements and it's just blended really, really nicely. I really did not expect them to blend that sort of thing in there. When I hear anime intros, I never know fully what to expect, what genre they're going to pick, of course. You never know what direction they're going to decide to take, because sometimes they can get really, really obscure with their decision. And this one just fits the genre of the show so well. It fits the whole series very well. And again, while most anime songs do that well, even though they do sometimes go a little bit off the beaten path. This one kind of locks itself in and marries the tone of the show because this song feels very comfortable yet free and open. It doesn't have anything that makes you worry so much as it does makes you calm down, makes you interested in seeing what's going to be happening beyond that horizon. That proverbial horizon is probably the most like accurate visual to this. I feel like I'm looking at a sun coming up over the fields of grain and I'm just in that world and it really tucks you in there nicely and kisses you goodnight. And I'm pretty sure the reason this song sounds so beautiful, but also it's like, it's one of those songs that has kind of a bittersweet nostalgia to it. And this song was written either in F minor or A flat major. And it's truly hard to tell because this song does have a little bit of both. It's uplifting, it's powerful, it's presenting itself as a very hopeful song. You're looking forward and you feel that energy that drive to continue on but there is also that minor sensation of just feeling a little bit more down in tone it doesn't have as much of the uplift as an average song in the key probably would but i'm pretty sure there's only a one note difference between the major and relative minor for these two so that might be why i think in general this is a very good key to do that sort of melancholic feel because you don't really have really anywhere else to go when it comes to the notes. You can kind of break those rules and get out of there, shift keys around, but I don't think they ever did that in this song. I don't think they had any major shift. They, of course, had the lift at the bottom, so that might have been one of those things where they shifted the key into something that was a little bit more positive. That could have been the shift from F minor to A flat major. For all I know, that one note can make a huge difference. So, all in all... This track is a great, great example of this unlikely duo trying to circumnavigate the complexities of merchant work. And it's just, I, I have a feeling this series is going to be a really comfortable kind of show. I'm not positive. Something could go terribly wrong. It's only episode like two or three as of now. So I don't know. Something might happen. I don't know that much about the story, but so far it's been really relaxing and being able to experience something that I love, which is unfortunately something that's not super popular which is like the political landscape of fantasy worlds i love that sort of thing i find myself engrossed in stories like that all the time i like to hear the political talk and the uh the warring between the lands and figuring out borders and stuff like that and in this case very financial and merchant heavy of course for obvious reasons so i'm excited to see where this goes given that i never got the chance to experience the original and here we are now with me able to do that but anyway, I think that's about all I've got to say for this song and this show. So thank you all so very much for watching. If you have any other openings or endings you want me to get to, please leave them in the comments below. I've got plenty of days ahead to be able to get to some of those. I know I'm going to be getting to the blue archive ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like the opening or ending yet. We'll figure that out. But I am on my way to getting all these done and focusing on these this week. So if you like this video and you want to see more of them and you want to follow me and support me for all that, you know how to do that and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!